Hello friends. Uh, I know it's been a, like a, I missed a week or two for uploading episode. It's because I was busy, busy uh, preparing for a huge trip. Um, I'm sailing right now back from Catalina Island. I've been sailing for the last nine days. Um, I went to Santa Cruz Island in the Channel Islands and um, had an amazing time. Six different anchorages. I anchored every night. And I sailed a long passage to Catalina, where I met up with Metal for New Year's Eve, and uh, now we're heading home. Uh, this is New Year's Day, so Happy New Year's. Um, I did some insane projects leading up to the um, big trip. I installed an entire new anchor setup, uh, built the anchor locker out, glassed it in, painted it. I ripped out the cabinetry in the old head, put in a new holding tank and and plumbing and everything. And uh, and I ripped out my old ice box and put in a temporary nav station. Um, so I have a ton of those, those project videos as well, but I'm too excited uh, to show you guys um, this, these adventure videos. So I'm going to, we're just going to get right into those and then I'll put those in, you know, uh, every, every couple weeks or something, I'll throw in one of the sort of project videos, um, as like a throwback video. Um, so yeah, uh, I've, I've had, uh, an amazing year, a lot of hard work and, um, it really paid off this last week getting to sail to these amazing anchorages where I was all alone and it was really beautiful. The other news is, um, I've started a podcast and um, uh, I think there's there's not too many sailing podcasts so and, and I kept thinking about what I could do for a podcast because I feel like Andy Shell really has the sort of interview system down on lock you know his on the wind is such an incredible podcast so I decided to do like a almost like a cruising guide um, podcast so I'm, I'm recording like a review or my experiences at anchorages recorded at the anchorage I'm at is where the podcast is recorded and uh, it just gives you like all the info that I have on hand and from my experience and my research um, about that anchorage um, and then it'll be blocked into kind of seasons it won't be as regular as my YouTube videos but it'll be uploaded in conjunction with the YouTube videos so um, you know, if somebody wants to listen to like a detailed description of a podcast, uh, the uh, Anchorage I was at, you know, and then they'll have a visual with the video and there'll be a, a blog, like the journal with still photos that I took. Um, so lot, lots of sailing content to um, consume, which I'm always looking for more to consume. So, um, so that's, uh, and that's, that's called um, a, a Stern View podcast. Um, and there'll be a link to that in um, each of the uh, the comments. Uh, I'm sorry, each of the descriptions below the video. So, without further ado, here's the uh, first episode of. I guess this is like season two, sort of. Um, it's uh, my my a little bit of preparation and my passage and my first anchorage, which was um, Coches Pretos on Santa Cruz Island, the Channel Islands here in California. Thanks for watching. Hello friends, uh, getting ready to push off for the Channel Islands. <clears throat> I'm gonna be gone for <clears throat> eight days or something um nine i guess including today and uh still have to go get diesel fuel in my jerry cans i got got the tank topped off and uh the provisioning's done uh just a couple odds and ends to tighten up and push off i'm pretty close to being on schedule you know always run a little bit behind but i'm going to be motoring motor sailing through the night tonight um so i can make uh my first anchorage in uh Santa Cruz Island, uh, Coches Pretos, uh, I think that's how you say it, I have no idea. Um, it means dark pig, apparently. Um, tomorrow afternoon. <clears throat> so, um, first big solo trip, uh, first big solo passage, uh, it's just like 77 miles. Um, so yeah, uh, it's like five knots of wind out there right now, so, and I'll be motoring into it, so it, it works in my favor, really. 
Um, so yeah, gotta gotta get all this stuff done and uh, get out to sea. Filling up my jerry cans for my passage to Channel Islands. I have 20 gallons extra fuel. My tank's full. So between that and the wind, uh, I'll get me back. The water lift strikes again. It loves attention. Do you want to say why you're doing that? The packing nut is leaking. I'm trying to leave for my trip. It's proving very difficult. And I need a Phillips hand screwdriver, please. Finally got out of the slip, cruising through the harbor, heading for Angels Gate Lighthouse, turn and head for uh, Santa Cruz Island. Looking forward to a week of being on the hook and exploring anchorages and uh, being away from it all. So uh, I'll be updating you guys through the night. Um, we'll see how everything goes. Uh, my packing nut was leaking, it's what forced me to get a late start and um, I got it tightened it's still leaking a bit when Marina Del Rey is on my beam which will be several hours from now I'm gonna like keep an eye on it and if it if I'm uncomfortable with it I'll pull into Marina Del Rey and and uh, repack it in the morning and then head out from there but um, hopefully it'll be fine we'll see uh, so here we go into the sunset through my first uh, solo night watch passage um, creeping on towards uh, Santa Cruz Island um, I'll be there about midday or so um, pretty rolly night not much wind uh, had the main up um, just to stabilize the boat mostly um, but yeah hammered into the swell and uh, very tired but um, soon it'll be easier days of you know just hopping around the island so
San Nicholas Island in the distance. Chilly out. Really pretty sunrise though. Had some dolphins lazily playing with the the boat. Sunrise watches are always the best. Really remarkable to have like all of this to yourself. Kappa Island. And there's Santa Cruz where I'll be anchoring tonight. Looks close, but it's still gonna be a while. I'm about half an hour away from uh, my anchorage. It's uh, three, uh, oh, almost 2.30 right now. PM. Uh, I left yesterday at 4.30, so it's been a long day. Um, I can finally identify the landmass for sure. Um, the anchorage Coches Pretos is just on the other side of it. Um, I can see some sailboats tied up, uh, or anchored rather, um, in Albert's Cove. Uh, I think that's the name. Um, the, uh, I did my uh, first ever drone flight off the boat, uh, which I was really scared about doing went great flew around you know saw amazing sights landed it very nerve-wracking and scary and uh, realized I hadn't recorded anything so what are you gonna do at least I got the uh, first one over with um, but I'll include the footage of me uh, taking off on it after this little clip um, so yeah about to come in drop the hook and make some food and probably sleep for like 10 hours um, beautiful island I'll show you guys that right now I didn't lose it in the sea. The bummer is, I forgot to hit record. So, well, at least that's over with. Now on the anchorage. So here it is. I have it all to myself. Got to get in now and drop the hook and uh, get the show on the road.
Well, I made it to my anchorage. It took me um, like 23 hours to get here. Quite a quite a long trip for my first solo overnight passage. Um, but I have this beautiful anchorage all to myself. And uh, Fagan in his book said it's maybe the best anchorage in Santa Cruz. So pretty excited. I'm anchored in 27 feet of water. Um, I have like five scope out and uh, yeah, it's it's lovely here. It's actually really warm now. Um, so I'm gonna relax for a while, pretty tired, make some food and uh, probably go ashore tonight. I think there's some no trespassing signs, but I can go on the beach and look around. Um, but um, yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, I'm excited for the, the next, um, like seven or eight days, uh, explore as many anchorages as I can. Um, so, here we are. Pritos, no, Cochos Pritos, the dark pig. Beautiful sunset. <clears throat> Have the anchorage all to myself, which is exactly what I wanted. The anchorage is pretty rolly. Um, I put out a flopper stopper that my friend Neil let me borrow, which seems to help. I just want to show you guys, I anchored behind this kelp bed here uh, to help prevent some of the roll. Um, doesn't eliminate everything, but it helps a little. Something really crazy happening in the sky right now. Not sure what's going on, but it's really fucking insane. Maybe it's rockets. Holy shit. 